<laughs> what is going on guys it is fatal reaper day bringing you guys a new video so in this video guys i really want to address the elephant in the room after one year how good is the hp pavilion laptop and how is it still holding up and i just noticed i was looking over some analytics guys it says a lot of you have not subscribed that watch my channel so if it would do me a real solid if you could hit that like button and subscribe um really appreciate it really uh i love you having you guys on the channel so if you do enjoy my content please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button really helps me out so let's go ahead and get in this video and this will probably bring a lot of new viewers and everything if you're not um, familiar I typically do HP Pavilion videos and I've made a little list here about things I want to go over so it's been one year it has been in almost exactly one year since I've bought this laptop and I really want to go over and touch on some things a big portion of things so let's get into it so first off is the charger if you may notice right now it is actually on the charger and I do have it on the charger right now I'll zoom it in right here it is charging and that brings me to my next question I want to go ahead and um, bring the battery performance up into play you always want the battery performance on best performance so this is a laptop and a lot of people don't really you know know typically you know when you're playing on a laptop uh, you're gonna have to have the charger most likely plugged up to get everything as far as performance goes it's just normal so a lot of people think that's not normal that's pretty normal for a laptop because you're running on a battery. You're gonna wanna keep the laptop on the charger. So most laptops do require, you're gonna have to keep it on the charger. That's pretty normal, and this one's no different. Um, it doesn't hurt your battery or anything like that. You can keep it on the charger, and it shouldn't hurt temperatures really that bad. Um, temperatures do go up a little bit, typically, sometimes, and everything like that, um, when you have the battery on, but that's, again, that's normal because you have it on the battery. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Let's go ahead and talk about the next thing you need to do. So right here in the right hand corner, you will see the battery button. You're always gonna want that on best performance. That is what's gonna give you the most, best gameplay and everything like that. You can actually run into lag and I have demonstrated that on videos before. So after the charger and the battery, after we've talked about the battery and the charger, let's get to the next thing. So hard drive, I get this question more often than not. How do I, I get to, most question is how do you play these games? How are you playing these games? They're too big to even fit on this hard drive. So the hard drive that it comes with is typically a 256 gigabyte. Um, there are other variants that come with about a 500, 512. I recommend this right here and I will leave links in the description below if you guys want to see them. This is a Toshiba external hard drive. Now, I recommend an external. Again, this is all personal opinion stuff. If you guys have different opinions or want to go for something different, you can. You can even upgrade an external hard drive and get it, um, or internal, excuse me, internal hard drive <clears throat> to go inside. That way, you already have all the space in the laptop. I recommend an external because you can also take the external and plug it up to another PC, hence my gaming PC right here. So that way, I can switch to and from the gaming PC and the laptop and still do all the games that I like, and they're all on both essentially so that's how you fix that problem and everything like that let's go on and talk about nvidia so the main thing you're going to want to go download when you get this laptop first thing even for a pc really is nvidia if you're well if your graphics card is powered by nvidia you're going to want to download geforce experience once you do that you're going to go over this page right here it's called drivers and you're going to go check for updates as of right now there are no updates but typically there will be a frequent you know graphics drivers up updates Probably here a couple every few weeks. They do it at different times. And you're going to want to keep those up to date. Or you can uh, run into some FPS issues or other gameplay graphics issues. Some people say, oh, it doesn't affect graphics. Um, the drivers and stuff like that. That's completely untrue. It does affect graphics if you don't update them <clears throat> enough. Some updates might not. Like there could have been an update last week and I didn't get it and my games are still playing fine. But eventually, if you don't get up the most up-to-date drivers, you will start experiencing issues. That's just kind of how it works. So let's go ahead and go to the next thing. So for, next thing you're going to want to go to is settings. After you've gone to settings, you're going to want to go down this right here is battery boost. Now, you won't have this on a regular PC, but you will have this on the laptop. You're always going to want the battery boost right here and you're going to want it on quality. The highest quality for 60 fps that's going to get you the highest quality so again let me kind of start jumping into after a year so after a year i've played a lot of games and here shortly in just a second you're going to see fortnite playing on the hp then so what you're really seeing here is me playing fortnite and i've done all the settings you guys can check out the videos on my channel on my playlist basically essentially fortnite 
is it can run Fortnite, it can run Fortnite, it can run Modern Warfare, it can run quite a few games. I've had it for a year, and that's the, mainly the main games I play on it. Fortnite, again, being the most popular that I play. Um, it got the most views on one of my videos. Um, but it, it plays, it still plays games pretty well. I've not really had any issues like that. It was definitely better than my Xbox One S that I used to have. And it actually rivals my PC every now and then. I have a $1,500 PC and it actually plays some of the games just about as well. Now this does have a 60 hertz monitor, mind you. Um, you can upgrade monitors. You can get external monitors and plug them up. So that is something to think about. But, um, yeah, I mean, it plays Fortnite flawlessly and has no issues with a lot of games that I run. And I run a lot of high-end games. I have run Cyberpunk and a lot of other things like that, and it's run them flawlessly. All right, so back here on the laptop you're seeing here, I do recommend... I do recommend that a lot of you go ahead and get um, a cooling pad. So what you're seeing right here that's under and glowing on my laptop is a cooling pad. So the cooling pad really helps out for obviously keeping your temperatures down and everything like that. Plus they're kind of just cool to have and it kind of helps out the setup and makes it look a lot cooler, especially with the colors. And they're pretty inexpensive around $40. Again, there are links to descriptions to everything down below if you want to check those out. That's pretty much um, the gist of the games as far as everything goes, as well as the um, um, graphics drivers, stuff like that. There's not really much more to really say about it, but to keep your graphics drivers up to date, as well as your battery performance, and typically to keep it on the charger. Um, I will be doing plenty more videos like this, and uh, if you guys have any questions, do leave me some comments down below. But, um, I mean, you know, there's nothing really more to say, but the main, you know, gist of this video is really, it's just been a great laptop. I've not had any gaming laptops per se. I've had a lot of friends that had them and have had moderate ones or decent ones. I do have to say though, for a laptop, this has been l just great. I've, um, had a lot of laptops, just plain normal laptops. Like I had a Chromebook, um, et cetera, and things like that. And they just obviously wouldn't even play Minecraft, but I have to say, for a gaming laptop, this is a really, really budget gaming laptop, One, and it runs games just really well, and I've had no issues with it, and it, it's just it's just been a good laptop. There's nothing really more to say as far as the quality goes. Um, as far as any bad things I've ever run into it, I've really never run into bad things with it. I mean, for a laptop, again, what I've witnessed and had to, you know, use before, there's nothing really bad I can personally say about it. Everything's just been on the up and very good. I've had a very pleasant experience with it. Um, I know some people have said, oh, they haven't, or some frame drops. I mean, you know, typically you're going to get frame drops. Even on my main PC, I get frame drops. And that's typically due to NVIDIA graphics drivers, or sometimes it's just a small fix. Now, there are some bigger fixes that you may have to take it to someone or maybe get a new one. You know, sometimes you just get a bad batch and maybe you need to return it and get a different one. But other than that, you know, guys, again, there's just been not really nothing bad to say about it. I mean, for a budget laptop, for the price, you really can't beat it especially today cards and everything how expensive they are but uh there's nothing more to really say about the laptop so um again guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching